wild. A colonist of Gadara claims to have an Asari remake of Seven Samurai. I think he's trolling with recut trailers, but you never know. Oh, Huntresses. No, that's all new, all real footage. Not real Asari, though. What? How did I miss that release? Watching the wrong subsections of the extranet, probably. Hmm, sounds niche. I got the popcorn. And whatever Graxon is. Thank you. I owe Cora for letting me use her clearance. This'll be fun, like watching vids with Sid when she was little. Checks out. Thanks, PB. A little extra giddy up for the nomads? Have you fixed the shock absorbers yet? I'm not doing it, Joe. The rest of the team likes the smooth ride. But I keep falling asleep. Do what I do. Never stop talking. It sounds interesting, but I just don't have time for reading fiction. Make time. I'll set you an appointment if I have to. Besides, if you skip the food descriptions, the first volume's only a hundred pages. Subi. That woman on the Nexus. She's a widow of one of my pilots. The people you were training to explore the Scourge? Zoe's wife was lost out there. For a fellow pilot, one does the right thing. Like making sure her widow's got enough credits. It's the least I can do. The most is conquering the Scourge once and for all. Now orbiting Gadara.
Ryder. Perfect timing. You saved me the trouble of looking for you. Something wrong? Have there been more murders? Nothing so morbid. This is actually a personal favor. A business rival, Zia Cordier, lifted cargo I was moving for a client. You want my help getting it back? We worked so well together on the row car job, I thought you'd be willing. What did she steal? No idea. Client paid extra for privacy. Considering my fees, it must be valuable. You didn't check. Honors got a price. And the client paid it. How'd this rival of yours get hold of your cargo? Her usual tactics. Got my middleman drunk, then stole his ship. Sounds like you know from experience. Please, I keep to a three-drink maximum when I'm on a job. Maybe, if I have time. I'd like to get the cargo back before word reaches my client. Zia usually drinks a Kralas song when she stops in Kadara. I'll start there. Join me, if you can find the time. I hope you got what you needed from Ven before he lost his head. Sloan and I came to an understanding. I talked to him before. Well, you know. I'm impressed. Didn't think she could be reasoned with. I'm a Pathfinder. Dealing with people is part of the job. And I thought it was all star charts and data collection. So, how can I help you? Things are looking less than friendly between the Collective and the Outcasts. Not everyone's happy living under Sloane's thumb. Whatever resources Kadara has goes to the Outcasts. The rest of us get scraps. The Collective claims to be different, but it's hard to trust a faceless leader. Especially with a title like the Charlatan. <laughs> have to admit, I'm jealous. That's a better nickname than Shayna. Any idea where the Collective operates? Rumor has it they have a swanky hideout in one of the caves in Drowlir. I've never seen it myself. Your code name, Shayna. What's it mean? It's the Angaran word for... mouth. <laughs> I'm good with... words. Okay, that's all I need to know. You asked. Did you play a big part in the mutiny on the Nexus? <laughs> I had nothing to do with that shit show. Then why do you leave? The way Tan handled things didn't exactly inspire confidence. Decided I could do better on my own. So I jumped ship with the rest of them. Ended up here. How long have you worked with the Resistance? A few months. When Sloan saved Kadara Port from the Ket, Ephra wanted eyes and ears on the ground. Figured people would be more loose-lipped around their own kind. He was right. Sloan's tough, but so are the Cat. How'd she take them out? Never underestimate the element of surprise. The Cat weren't ready for an ambush. But they know her tactics now. Next time, Sloan won't be so lucky. I better get going. Ryder. Yeah? Don't take this the wrong way, but... You're not really liked here, in Kadara Port. Ouch. What I'm saying is, you need a friend. Someone on the inside to help you out. I can be that guy. You need intel on Exiles, Sloan, whatever. Come to me. Thanks, I think. Ryder, good to see you. You said I should come to you if I needed intel. I want to establish an outpost on Kadara, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. Because of Sloan. She's not the only obstacle. If war is about to break out between the outcasts and the Collective, I can't ask people to settle here. Are you saying Kadara's dangerous? <laughs> if you want to ease tensions, prove the initiative can be reliable. Gain favor with the little people, and it won't matter who's in charge. I better get going. Thanks for stopping by.
Okay, that's done. Nothing Still need suspicious. to track down Rhea's cargo, though. You look like you're waiting for someone. That's my line. Ugh. You want a drink or a room? Information, actually. That'll cost you more than a round of drinks. My friend's good for it. Put it on my tab. See? <sighs> what do you want to know? Zia Cordier. She been around recently? You mean your ex? Yeah, she was here. Was she by herself, or...? No, she was with a Solarian. Shifty guy I'd never seen before. Maybe it was the charlatan. Anything's possible. You overhear their conversation? They were planning to meet someone at Spirit's Ledge. Thanks, Umi. Whatever. You didn't hear it from me. If you check the meeting spot, I'll follow the collective lead. Doubt Zia was meeting the charlatan, but you never know. I'll call you when I get there. Thanks, Ryder. What's on your mind? Don't have too much fun. It's early. Jal, I need you to open up your mind about Kadara. The Milky Way aliens are criminals who fight each other, and the Angara are traitors. Which should I open up? Costa, they don't know I was a cop. I'm not one now, no trouble. God, didn't think anyone would stop. I need you to deliver a message. Please. First, tell me why they've got you locked up. Uh, I may have had too much to drink and urinated on one of the guards. No may have about it. My boots still smell of piss. I've always been a bad drunk. What kind of message? Nothing illegal, just 
I just need to get word to my girlfriend. She's probably worried sick. All right, what's the message? My girlfriend, Sila, works at Tartarus. Most beautiful Asari you've ever seen. Skin like the ocean, eyes like... Jim, the message? Right. Tell Sila I've run into a... a complication. But I'll have the credits to pay Sloan's protection fee soon. Ask her to wait for me. Oh, and leave out the part where I'm in jail. Thanks. I've got a message from Jim, your boyfriend. Uh, got it. Don't tell me he really thinks I'm his girlfriend. Hopeful thinking on his part? More than hopeful. Delusional. Go on, then. What's the message? He said he'll have enough credits to pay Sloan's protection fee soon, and, uh, to wait for him. You tell Jim thanks, but I'm happy at Tatars. I don't need rescuing, especially from a pup like him. Set him straight. Ugh, what a pain. got pretty lucky with this crew. All said and done. Gil, Callow, Suvi. Especially Suvi. So smart, cool, under pressure. And that voice? If a person could ever fall for a voice, there it is. Your dad taught you to shoot, you said. The basics. The fancy stuff I got from a Batarian Merc who took pity on me. She really was something. Old as the stars, had seen everything. Wish Sid could have met her.
Let's look around. Maybe Zia left something behind. Something's hidden here. Got to be a way to get inside. Sam? The lock is controlled remotely, perhaps by something nearby. On my way! I think I found something. Looks like a wire. Maybe this will get us inside. Here goes nothing. Let's check back. Reyes. Found a data pad with what looks like a nav point. Must be where Zia's hiding the cargo. Probably left that behind for the buyer. Why not just tell the buyer directly? Frequencies can be hacked. Dead drops are considered safer, especially for a big sale. Did you find anything on your end? The Salarian is a fence. No direct connect to the collective. My guess is Zia met him to find potential buyers. Let's follow up on those coordinates. I'll meet you there. Incoming! So what do you really think? Aya or Kadara? Kadara, no question. I'll pick unpredictable over beautiful any day. into Sid the last time we... Shit. She didn't... Was she bothering you? What? No. She just said hi, and that she was busy wrangling some connections. Right. Yeah. She's investigating opening up more communication between Kadara and us. Like, something above board. Official. Sanctioned. I'm letting her take the lead. If it doesn't pan out, well, 
At least you know she tried. She seems happy to be competing. That's all I can ask for, really. Nice dodge back there, Vetra. Very fancy. Thanks. Learned it from a pirate back in the Verge. Did you know him long? About a minute and a half. It wasn't much of a bar brawl. Someone's already inside. was all just some elaborate trick to get you here. You mean, there was never any cargo? Bravo. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. Zia. You could never resist the big payout. What can I say? I'm a greedy man. That's why you don't have any friends. You're selfish. Skip the small talk. Why dealer Ray is here? He's been taking all the good jobs in Kadara. It's gotten more than my attention. So what? The local smuggling union got together and decided to take me down? Something like that. Ah, oh, shit. Move in.
I knew I wasn't Pop, but I never thought the other smugglers would team up against me. Kind of flattering, actually. They might try again. Undoubtedly. But it's harder to kill a man who knows you're gunning for him. Ah, all that effort and no credits to show for it. There are a few less smugglers in Gadara. Think of it as thinning out the competition. You and your silver linings, Pathfinder. Hmm. I should clean up this mess. Zia was a piece of work, but it feels wrong to leave her out in the open. What was that for? Just making sure we're still awake. Kadara. Prodromos. It's small, but it's ours. Think that's it.
obeying orders from the charlatan. Fall back to draw Leah base. We have a situation. The charlatan? Must be a collective dispatch. The cave networks in this region are called draw Lear. The base must be close. Detecting high levels of toxic gas. Proceed with caution, Pathfinder. Hey, I'm always cautious. This would be the perfect place to lie low. Yeah, except for those scorpion things. to be powering the floodlights. Well, yeah, but who put it here? The surveyor? That would be a lot of equipment for one man to carry. Dead end. Huh. Try the other path? Another generator. And more lights. They lead to something? Okay, this was the surveyor's last known location. Casualty. Our guy. Ah, the surveyor. Who did it? Outcasts, collective, random exiles. Gravity. What? He broke his neck, probably from trying to obtain barite samples. Seriously? Sam, download his data. We can at least deliver that. Intruders! Stand down. The charlatan wants this one alive. Out for a walk, Pathfinder? No one else in the Collective hesitated to shoot me. We're a big organization. Low-level operatives might not have gotten the word. But my orders are clear. You're not to be harmed. Crux is in charge here. If you've got questions, talk to her. Hey. 
all the way out here. Wow. Pathfinder, you caught me off guard. We don't receive many visitors. I didn't come here to cause problems. You just have interesting timing. Someone's been faking the charlatan's orders, giving bad intel. It got two of our recruits killed. Someone impersonating the charlatan could do a lot of damage. Only the representatives have access to such high-level information. The boss knows it's someone operating out of this base. It's my job to find the culprit. So what's the holdup? The imposter could bolt at the first sign of suspicion. I need a subtle way to smoke them out. Why would someone risk impersonating the charlatan? Greed is a powerful motivator, Pathfinder. The Collective has access to supplies, credits, you name it. And we only answer to one person. Maybe I could help. I'm not connected to the Collective. A curious outsider would raise less suspicion than an official representative. That's true. All right, Pathfinder. Here's what we know. The drop point was in the Sulphur Springs, so the imposter should have high levels of sulphur in their clothes. Sam's sensors should be able to detect that. Anything else? We found footprints that could be human or Asari, but too smudged to get an exact size. That's all my intel. High sulfur levels, but the footprints at the drop site contradict a Solarian's webbed feet. Just being thorough, Sam. Sulfur levels are normal. Not our culprit, then. Didn't peg the collective as gardeners. I've got to finish this. Caution. This plant is highly noxious, Pathfinder. Damn. I was hoping for a Helios version of tulips. The collective most likely uses it to make poison. Sulfur readings are low. Additionally, Angaran feet are distinct from humans and Asari. Can't hurt to check. Again. Good thing I'm kidding. 
It doesn't actually do anything. This is Kadara. Everything's busted. You think you would have figured that out after the 28th try? Sucker. Sulfur levels are on the high side, but not by a large percentage. And she's a sorry, which fits our footprint bill. Can't rule her out yet. She's worth further investigation. Judging from the scratching, Ardy. Sam, what are they doing with the Ardhi? It appears the Collective are attempting to domesticate the creatures. And how's that going? Aggression levels are lower than what we've seen in the wild, but I wouldn't recommend opening the cage. Everything's fine. Sulfur levels are high. Her footprints are of a similar shape to those left at the drop site. Could be our rat. Before accusing Dorado, perhaps you'd like to talk to her. She could have an alibi. Pathfinder, still here? What is a charlatan representative, exactly? Most members of the Collective have no direct contact with the charlatan. The boss delivers their orders through us. Even as a representative, I only get messages. I've never met the charlatan in person. You're okay with that? I don't like being micromanaged. As long as I carry out the charlatan's orders, I have the freedom to do as I want. What's it like working for the Collective? Enjoyable for the most part. Pays good and being a representative gets me respect. Sure, I live in a cave, but every job has its downside, right? You've no regrets about leaving the Nexus then? No way. Those idiots have no idea what they're doing. At least the charlatan has their shit figured out. Why work for the charlatan instead of Sloan? Because moving up in the Outcasts is a popularity contest. Sloane promotes her friends over the qualified. The charlatan doesn't care who you are, just how you perform. Thanks for the chat. Sorry about before, not much traffic down here. Recruits are jumpy. You didn't shoot, that's all that matters. You're awfully good-natured about people pointing guns at your face. Some of us have been down here for months. I haven't seen the sun in weeks. Weeks? Seriously? I'm one of the few people who know how to operate the water filters. I've been trying to train a backup, but most recruits can't stand the smell. Not many volunteers. I'd better get back to work. Thanks for the chat. What do you think of Lynx, Sam? Her explanation for the level of sulfur in her clothes was plausible, Pathfinder. First off, that doesn't answer my question. And second, I hardly call this torture. Just persuasion. It's torture, and it stops now. <laughs> Seriously, who the hell are you? 
The human pathfinder. Oh, shit. Crack said we're supposed to be on our best behavior around you. Why? <sighs> Answers above my pay grade. Not about to argue. That's enough, Saria. Let the asshole rest. What? Just do it. The Collective do this a lot? Lock people up? Beat them? We ask nicely first. It only goes badly for the stubborn ones. Why are these people locked up? Because they deserve it. That guy set off a bomb near the slums, then tried to blame it on us. They're filth, Pathfinder. Every last one. That's all. Good. I've got to get back to work. Need something? Go bother Crux. You're a testy one. Sorry. Haven't slept in 36 hours, thanks to another shit job. 36 hours? That can't be healthy. Defying the charlatan's orders isn't healthy. I go where I'm told. The charlatan send you to the Sulphur Springs? I smell that bad, huh? Like I said, it was a shit job, but I can't talk details. Especially to an outsider. See you around, Pathfinder. Dorado's heart rate elevated when you mentioned the Sulphur Springs, Pathfinder. We should talk to Crux, see if she was supposed to be at the spring. Pathfinder. Any luck finding the imposter? Dorado's clothes showed high levels of sulfur. When I asked about her last job, she was evasive. Her mission was at the port. She should have been nowhere near the springs. Aquila, detain Dorado. Quietly. On it. Good work, Pathfinder. I'll make sure the charlatan knows you helped us settle the matter. Pathfinder, still here? Thanks for the chat. 